Welcome back to World of Immersion. Today, we are here at Six Flags Magic Mountain for their brand new Scream Break Haunt event. We're super excited. They got two mazes, some scare zones, and a bunch of rides. So yeah, stay tuned. All right, we got our wristbands. Oh, all right. Where are the wristbands? All right, we got our wristbands. So do remember, these are free. If you have a season pass or a membership, you just have to go over there to membership and season pass services to redeem your wristband. They have limited wristbands, but as long as you come here before the event actually starts, you're probably gonna be able to get one. Otherwise, the tickets are $40 each for the event and it runs from nine to 12 every Friday, Saturday, Sunday for the next few weeks. So the event actually doesn't start for another hour and a half. It's only 7.30 right now. So we're gonna go see if we can do some rides really quick. Full throttle looks really cool. I don't think the line's gonna be too long. Too long. The event doesn't seem too crowded right now. It's really nice. First up, we're gonna hit Wonder Woman. It's been quite a while since I've been on this ride. Always has a crazy long line, but it looks like there's no line at all here. We'll see though. There's no line at all for Wonder Woman. Let's go. It's been so long since I've been on this ride. It's been quite a while since I've had a night ride too, especially. But here we go. Oh, he's never done a night ride. It's time. There's nobody in here. Dude, this is so sick. This is crazy. We're the only ones here. No line at all. We're actually the only ones. We just had not one, but two rides on Wonder Woman. One in the very front row and one in the very back row. I was not ready for the back row. Not prepared at all. That ride is so much fun, especially at night. There was zero weight. We literally just walked right back around. It was so much fun. I love that ride so much. Awesome. Definitely come here to this event if you want to go on all these rides with no weight, especially at night too. There's no weight for any of these rides right now. We're about to head over to Batman. This looks like there's no weight at all for Batman as well. Time for Batman. Probably also going to be no weight for this. This as well. Batman on the ride. All right, never mind. Batman broke down, but that's okay because Wonder Woman was a ton of fun. And I think we're gonna go over and do Twisted. My history with Batman. Oh yeah, he has a, not a great history. <laughs> Batman. Talk about he doesn't love the ride. I love Batman. I think it's a great ride, and especially in the front row, and especially recently, it's gotten super smooth. But it broke down unfortunately. So we're gonna go over and do Twisted Colossus, maybe Goliath. We still got about an hour until the event officially starts. And then we're gonna hit up all the mazes and all the scare zones, so stay tuned for that. Not part of Screen Break, but if you see our five-year prediction plan, this is exactly where we're talking about doing a flat ride here to replace where Tidal Wave used to be. They have this whole large area right next to Wonder Woman that they don't use. But be sure to check out that five-year prediction plan we have for Six Flags Magic Mountain. It's a super cool video. And yeah, this is exactly where we think that flat ride's gonna go. Next up is Twisted Colossus, my personal favorite ride in the entire park. Here we go. Well, that took quite a bit longer than expected. They had to close the ride for a little bit because I think somebody jumped over the fence or something. So they make sure it was all clear. So out took there an extra. With flashlights and everything. Yeah, it was a little crazy. I wasn't sure what was going on. They had like a paramedic out there. I think everybody's okay though. Everyone's safe. Just somebody I think jumped over the fence. Crazy. Just crazy. So they had to close the ride for a little bit. But that ride's a ton of fun. But now it's time for Screen Break. The event officially starts in like 15 minutes. So we're gonna go over and do some of the mazes, see some of the scare zones. I'm super excited. Let's go. So weird the park's like empty. Completely empty while they're still setting up for the event. Still got 20 minutes, but the park closed like 40 minutes ago. So it's gonna be really interesting. What's, what's weird is that this is a Friday. Like I would assume this is like peak hours. Yeah, it is a little, it's like, a little interesting. I, I would have thought it would have been more crowded, but we'll see what actually happens once the event starts in 20 minutes. This is what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, no scare actors. 
some cool props out here though with the chandeliers and all the lighting. It looks really cool. Very unique. Music goes hard. So far, looks pretty cool. Like I said, we still got a few more minutes until it starts, but I'm excited. This event looks really cool so far. Looks like this area of the park is open already. Maybe it's time to head over there. Looks like the mazes are open already. Maybe it's time to hit up a maze. I think we're gonna maybe check out Vault 666 first. Looks like it's open already. Got some cool posters along here. Not too bad of a line here. You can see some scare actors over there though. That looks cool. That felt so much better than it is normally. That was really, really fun. That was Vault 666 Initiation. You can find POVs of it online, but it was so much better than it's normally during Fright Fest. They had a lot more actors, it was a lot louder, but that was a ton of fun. I highly recommend it. But next, we're gonna check out the other maze over there. I'm not sure what it's called yet. Time for the other maze. Here we go. Not too long of line for either of these, by the way. Here we go for Condemned Mute House Party. Condemned house party, that looks really fun. I'm excited. Ready for a party. You are scared. Look at scare actors over here. Here we go. Condemned house party. That was a great maze. That was a ton of fun. So Some fun music actors. in there. Fun. Tons of actors. It was really, really fun. That was that was my favorite of the two mazes. It was so much fun though. Pretty scary too. There were so many actors in there, but just overall really great vibe. I love that maze. This event is so much fun. It's so much better than I thought it would be. And to be honest, I actually prefer it to the original Fright Fest, in my opinion, so far. We're gonna have a full review up on our channel as well of this event. And we still have tons of stuff to check out, but so far, it's a ton of fun. I love it. Some disco balls here. Second attempt on doing Batman. Close down the last time we did it, but let's try it. Once again, no way here for Batman. Just a fantastic front row ride on Batman. 
man, with absolutely no way. That was a ton of fun. I love that ride. I think that's one of the best rides here for sure. But the park is empty. If you want to ride all of these rides without any weight, this is definitely the event to come for. Wonder Woman also still has no way. Batman has no way. I'm sure Twisted Colossus and Scream have no way. Definitely the event to come to if you want to ride all of these rides. hit up the mazes one more time there's like no line for them at all so let's see it just finished up both of the mazes again those are still both incredible that was a ton of fun i really am impressed with these mazes i think we are gonna head out now it's kind of early but we got done every we got done with everything we did a bunch of rides we did all the mazes and all the scare zones and this event is a ton of fun there goes the fire again they have a little mini fire tower similar to what they have over at halloween hornets except a little bit smaller but still really cool that they have this all right and that is gonna do it from our video today here at six flags magic mountain good times it was a ton of fun i think screen break is a really really cool event i would definitely recommend checking it out especially if you season pass or membership because it's included but even if you don't, it's only $40, and that $40 includes parking too. Parking is free with this event. But overall, I had a ton of fun here. I thought it was a really, really cool event. We're gonna have a full review up on the channel, all of our tips and tricks with this event as well, as well as if we think it's worth it for you to visit. But yeah, I had a ton of fun. I thought this was a great event. What do you think? I really enjoyed it. I didn't go in with uh, very high expectations because it seemed like a very small event, but yeah. really organized two really good quality mazes and a lot of cool scare zones with a good atmosphere so overall really enjoyed it yeah for sure but that's going to do it from our video today be sure to hit that subscribe button be sure to check us out on instagram and tiktok at world of immersion do it but that's going to do it thank you so much for watching today and we'll catch you in the next video